Chapter 32. So these three men stopped answering Job, because he was righteous in his own eyes. But Elihu, son of Barakal, the Buzite, of the family of Ram, became very angry with Job for justifying himself rather than God. He was also angry with the three friends, because they had found no way to refute Job, and yet had condemned him. Now Elihu had waited before speaking to Job, because they were older than he. But when he saw that the three men had nothing more to say, his anger was aroused. So Elihu, son of Barakal, the Buzite, said, I am young in years, and you are old. That is why I was fearful, not daring to tell you what I know. I thought, age should speak, advanced years should teach wisdom. But it is the spirit in a man, the breath of the Almighty, that gives him understanding. It is not only the old who are wise, not only the aged who understand what is right. Therefore I say, listen to me. I too will tell you what I know. I waited while you spoke. I listened to your reasoning. While you were searching for words, I gave you my full attention. But not one of you has proved Job wrong. None of you has answered his arguments. Do not say, we have found wisdom. Let God refute him, not man. But Job has not marshaled his words against me, and I will not answer him with your arguments. They are dismayed and have no more to say. Words have failed them. Must I wait now that they are silent, now that they stand there with no reply? I too will have my say. I too will tell what I know. For I am full of words, and the spirit within me compels me. Inside I am like bottled up wine like new wineskins ready to burst. I must speak and find relief. I must open my lips and reply. I will show partiality to no one, nor will I flatter any man, for if I were skilled in flattery, my maker would soon take me away.